Alright, what I've done, and here's the OEM regulator rectifier, seven wires, three whites, a brown, green, black and red, and I've, this is the um, Chrysler regulator from the same time period in the 80s of the uh, this particular regulator. A little bit more modern though. And we got two bridgeable rectifiers from Radio Shack. Let's see here. Now I made it in two pieces like this so I can install it. See see the two holes? That's those two holes I made. And this is a piece of 4x4 four four aluminum. I painted the side we're going to see. Looks like I need to repaint it. Anyway. Uh, I'll have a link so you can see how this goes. Two positives, two negatives. The whites, you can see it. They're actually up here now. They're they're clear. I got paint on them. Um, over here is the brown lead and the green lead. The brown lead has the seven amp fuse in it. I actually we have one in the fuse box so it's going to be double fused. From my success I bought another set of plugs with gold pins. Sided them in place. This rectifier regulator is still good. Anyway I made this in this kind of configuration so I could get it up in there. What I will do is bolt bolt this plate on and then I will once I get it bolted I can push this up in there and bolt and using the nuts some lock nuts nylon lock nuts and some I'm still going to use lock washers too and and bolt that in place then in the back here you can see I've got two holes that's going to I'm just going to zip tie that on. That way it's good and tight. You'll get a good ground from here. <coughs> and the ground will, and it'll be bolted in place like that. You'll have a picture of how I bolted, test fit it. And then it'll sit in there. This is the top. That's, that's up. And then the wires will go up and then bolt in and then plug into the plug this will fit right in the OEM spot not hit the chain and it'll look like that that way I can replace anything when I have to replace it I, can, I do have one extra one of my diodes burns out on the on a rectifier, I got an extra rectifier, an extra diode there. I can just plug right in if I'm on the go. Anyway, regulators are like 16 bucks at Napa. Rectifiers are 350 now. They used to be only like 250 at Radio Shack. The information on the part numbers you will need will be on the link that I'll provide. I'm going to install it here shortly, and you'll see that later.